Welcome to your training session, Introduction to Industrial Hygiene. It is said that the first step in solving a problem is to admit you have a problem. That is usually the first of 12 steps. In the case of industrial hygiene, it took an awfully long time to take the next step. Somewhere around 400 BCE, Hippocrates, a Greek physician, noted and recorded lead toxicity in the mining industry. However, nothing was done about it. In fact, it would take about 2,000 years before any legislation was passed related to industrial hygiene. Or in other words, protecting workers and communities from the products and byproducts of industry. Want to know what happened in the interim and since? You'll learn about that in this course. And you'll learn a lot of other useful information, too. Welcome to our training program focusing on an introduction to industrial hygiene, a science that benefits everyone. Before we go any further with this training, take a quick moment to consider why you were taking it. You could take this course because you want a basic understanding of the history and current state of industrial hygiene and specific details that could apply to anyone in an industrial setting. You could take it because you want a true general awareness of this science that benefits everybody. Or you may have other reasons for taking this course. Whatever your reasons, keeping them in mind as you proceed through the program will help you to learn the material. Who should take this training? The general workforce found in the industrial sector, including managers and supervisors. Now, let's see what you'll learn in this course. After completing this training, you will be able to explain the purpose of industrial hygiene, classify the types of hazards addressed by industrial hygiene, describe the routes of entry of contaminants into the human body, recognize when different types of air contaminants may be present, Recall units of concentration and exposure threshold limit values and recognize key aspects of hearing conservation.